So you saw me uh, show off the Band Booker app that we're going to build in my Blazor workshop. I just want to show you one really cool feature that I've implemented. Um, I've got two different browsers up here, both running the app locally. So this is Chrome right there. And this is Edge right there. All right. Completely different because we want different cookies. We want uh, different browsers to separate them. So let's go ahead and edit Carl Franklin on both of these to demonstrate what happens if you have two people using this app and both of them are editing the same record at the same time. But back on .NET Rocks in the early, early days, I remember talking to Bill Vaughn um, when ADO.NET came out, you know, when .NET first came out, and they had the data adapters and stuff. And what they would do to um, manage or mitigate collisions and be able to deal with data collisions when two people are writing the same record at the same time is they would take all the original values when they read something and those would go into the update statement so if you update a record where and in the where clause all of the fields had to match the original values otherwise you would get this error that says you know the data has changed uh you know you might want to refresh or check with whoever's editing you know but there's a really cool way to do this with signal r that you can avoid all of this stuff in the first place and that was bill's response he said you know i prefer to prevent the collision in the first place rather than try to soak you know sop up the the details afterwards he says it's kind of like the new york city transit authority coming to an intersection and saying okay where are we going to stack the bodies that was just a lot of fun all right so check this out we're both editing the same record. We have a signal R hub that is basically going to allow us to send, to post this message that says, hey, I updated, I'm updating this particular record. And all of the clients that are connected get that message. And if that record is being updated, guess what? They updated as well. So all I gotta do is just to, uh, demo this is just start typing. There you go. It's as simple as that. So, you know, you see this kind of technology at use in, uh, in cloud platforms where you have uh, documents like Google Docs, for example. You can invite somebody to edit a Google Doc with you and you can both be editing at the same time. You can see their edits in real time. And that's essentially what's going on here. So this is just one of the features of this application that we will be developing in my course at blazor.appvnext.com. It's a one-day workshop where we're going to build this app using server-side Blazor.